I think as a business for your marketing, you've really got to think through who you are and what you want to reflect into your community. Things like, you know, colors, your logo, things being consistent that way so that people recognize that when they see that logo, they know, oh, that's Coffee Republic or they hear that name. Welcome to the Coffee Experts Club, where we discuss all of the insights, expertise, and drama that goes into making your passion your profession. Our hosts, Aaron, Ben, and Drew, are three coffee experts who have taken their coffee experience and turned it into true expertise. They have consulted with major coffee brands throughout the United States and beyond, providing operations expertise and growth strategy for drive through openings, multiple locations, and everything in between. So brew yourself a cup and hang out a bit with the Coffee Experts Club. Welcome, boys. Yeah, first Hello, time to see everybody today. Drew down in Belize. How's Belize feeling today? Belize is beautiful. No complaints. It just lots of sweat. They just look like nice, nice layer all the time. I love it. I love it. Well, I miss you, man. Miss you being down there, but excited you're down there with the coffee. That's my true. It's always a special thing. Ben, yeah. how's the buck? How's the day? The day is going quite well. It's not nearly as hot as I'm sure it is down in Belize right now. It, I think it's like 50 outside. It's perfect. Seriously, I just want a little sunshine. Like, can I just get a little sunshine? I feel like Oregon just keeps <laughs> laughing. Every time it gives me a little sun, I can rain the next day. So, anyway. Yep. Well, today you're talking to somebody pretty special to me, pretty special to Drew and I both in a very, very special place in my heart. So um, when Drew started doing Coffee Experts Elites and started going to these different locations to help people open up their coffee shops, this was one of the, one of the first two that we did. And you know, it's, it's become others since then. But I think that I told Drew when he went there, I said, hey, listen, my two favorite places I'm going to try and send you this year. One of them is Belize. That's where he's at right now. And the other one is good old mom Tucky is what I call it. But it's more than that. Montana is just one of my very favorite places in the earth. Dad has got a vacation home not too far away from his family who has started something pretty powerful in Great Falls, Montana. The coffee shop's called Coffee Republic. Almost the whole family on here so far for coffee experts. So we left out the one key figure, the matron of the family, and that is Miss Robbins. And we're glad to have her today. So Robin, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Every time I'm in Montana, I'm just like, that is a good looking coffee shop. That they those people know what they were doing. So lots of kudos to you, Ms. Robin. Oh, thank you. We're 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 really pleased with how it how it's all come together and very thankful to have uh, your support. Thanks so much. Drew, you want to talk a little bit about Mr. Roman? You want to talk a little bit about your experience with them with their coffee republic? I just kind of moved over there and met the family after I got there, but it was a, a all pleasant experience all around. Very, very excited people. I know you guys had a long history of coffee and the different cultures that you guys got to experience going from of course California to Montana. That's a, that's a large cultural difference. So there was a lot to say about your community involvement and I'm excited to hear what you have to say about learning the different styles of the communities that you're in because there's massively different languages that you get to speak. Yeah, we, we moved our whole family here to Montana. It's been just about a little over a year and we, we knew that we wanted to start a new coffee business that was be family owned. And also the building. So the building belongs to my husband and I, and then the business is run by our sons. So it's a, a whole family affair. It was quite, quite a process getting us here. We weren't necessarily fleeing as much as um, we needed to be able to find a place to start over. And so one of our sons was here in Montana and we looked at property here previously and thought that this was probably where God was leading our family. So sold our house, finished a remodel because we were in the process of remodeling our completely our home. And my mom lives with us. She had her own casita there. So we had to have mind as we were making this transition. And let's see, the boys took, well, I know Marty and Jonathan, and there was like five trips. We bought our own U-Haul truck and moved the family. And the thing that is most amazing, I think, really shows just how much that God was just a part of everything that we did is the way, how smoothly everything went. So we sold two businesses, sold homes, moved families, and started a business. And we had the business 
in just a little more than a year after we sold our previous businesses. And I'd like to take the credit for that, (laughs) but I know it wasn't me. And, you know, when you look at everything that we did, you know that that God was just moving in a mighty and powerful way. And we still see that today. We're very thankful for the success that we've had with our business. And culture, yes, is very different here uh, than Southern California. And uh, we love that. We love that the culture's different. It's slower. It's people are just so authentic. They love to tell you their story. So being in a service industry like a coffee drive through is a great place. It's, it's a great place for us. And I don't think that they had seen anything quite like what we have brought here because our goals were to be fast, to have a quality drink and provide excellent customer service. We wanted to impact the community. And we also wanted to impact the kids that, that we work with on a day-to-day basis. And so I think we've done a, a really good job with that. We have a really great staff. Our numbers are, are way surpassed what we thought that they would be. I can't, I just, I mean, we're just so, we're so excited. We're so thankful. And actually this week on Thursday, which you can see tomorrow, we are submitting plans for number two. So we're really excited. Wow. The change from, from California to Montana, like how is that, how's your marketing change? Which obviously like, you know, you just said culture wise, it's completely different. They had to change up your marketing and all in the way that you're marketing. Well, prior to this business, we didn't do our own marketing. Our marketing was given to us. And so that's one part that I really enjoy getting to be a part of. In our prior company, I wasn't really involved. I had my own business. I was in sales. And Marty and I have been wanting to retire. And so we were getting ready to retire before all this started. So part of our retirement plan now is our development company, which I help him with that too. So my job really is kind of the administrative assistant. And then I also do was influential in the marketing for getting Coffee Republic going. For that, I, I one of the things that I love to do, I love I in my pr- prior work that I did, I did a lot of training of consultants and weekly meetings. So I was in charge of the family meetings. <laughs> so you can imagine what that was like. If you don't know, we have three sons and my husband. So it was interesting dynamics, but it, it all went really well. And so that the biggest thing that I enjoyed doing with that was helping them to create their vision and their mission statement and their values. And so one of our meetings that we did, of course, they were not super keen on this plan of mine. (laughs) I wanted to get sticky notes and put them all, you know, put them all up on the windows and that went out the window and I just got a piece of paper out and wrote it down. But it was a really fun meeting because they got to express what they wanted this business to look like. And we were creating it from the ground up. We, this was going to be our, our baby. And so actually I have some, some of the notes. So they came out with words like speed and quality, customer service, connect, customer relationships, serving our community, making an impact by building people, superior product consistency. And then of course we have years of experience in coffee. They knew what they wanted their team to be like, the employees. They wanted them to be friendly and relatable, outgoing, confident, loyal, and honest. And then as far as our values, that came up pretty quickly, coffee, community, and customers. And took a little bit to get our mission statement. Our mission statement is a high-energy, fast-paced, friendly drive through delivering quality coffee and specialty drinks to our community. So we started with that, and we also knew what our our vibe was, what we wanted uh, the feel to be. And I think that's really important, not only creating who you are, but what you look like in the community. And so our vibe that we wanted, something that is kind of here, it's a kind of an industrial community with the brick and old train buildings and things like that was kind of a modern industrial clean look. So that was one thing that we created in the design of our, of our buildings and our our buildings are, are beautiful. And we get comments all the time from our community. And I think people, as much as they don't like change here in Montana, they do appreciate when you 
taken an old dilapidated building and created something beautiful. And so that's what we've done. And we're going to be doing that again at our second location. We're going to actually somehow, some way, make it look almost like the first building. And so we're, we're working on that. And then the marketing side, we created the logo. We actually had our logo right away. We wow. knew, we, we, we kind of came to an agreement on the name of our company pretty quickly. And all of that we did as a family. We would sit around the table at our meetings and, um, you know, throw out names. I would write things down and then we would come back to it. And then uh, I was working with a, a designer for uh, our logo, you know, shooting her the ideas that they were having. And then, you know, she would send us stuff back. And we wanted to be known as a, a Montana company, even though we might possibly, you know, move into other states eventually. We don't know. But right now, our logo includes Great Falls, Montana, because people really love their city and they love Montana. They are, they are very proud to be in Montana. Matter of fact, I got rid of my license, my phone number, my license right now says Montana because you need to fit in here. So, mm -hmm. uh, but we started with radio, actually, as far as our marketing. We met with, they, they did some radio, but they also did some digital things for us. We had an incredible grand opening and radio was part of that. We did a live radio broadcast the whole day. And we also had a, a famous Montana band that pulled up in a big bus that we weren't expecting. But we had a, a fabulous reception because we got the word out through the radio and, and also our Instagram and Facebook marketing. So... I also had t-shirts and sweatshirts made right away. And we started as a family wearing those wherever we would go, getting attention that way. And then part of our marketing too was getting those on other people in town. So those were things that we gave away during our grand opening and um, tried to get our name out that way. And we had met with a photographer to just do some family shots for um, our sweatshirts just because we were excited. That was the January before we opened. And um, so she actually offered to do some promo shots, which she's never done before. And she was willing to do it for free. And wow. so I said, OK, <laughs> that would be great. So um, Shelby was her name and she did a, a great job. She's actually done two sessions for us now. And I kind of directed some of the shots as far as things that we want that are more professional looking in the my son, Jonathan, does all of the um, Facebook, Instagram, and the kids put up their own pictures all the time. We really want it to, to reflect what it is. It, we're not mom and pop, but we are a family business. We were not, when the radio, I was first working with them, they sent me things like cup of joe and mud. And I'm like, let me send you some other words because that, that doesn't reflect who we are. and We don't want that out in the community. So. I think as a business for your marketing, you've really got to think through who you are and what you want to reflect into your community. Things like, you know, colors, your logo, things being consistent that way so that people recognize that when they see that logo, they know, oh, that's Coffee Republic or they hear that name. They know who we are. And so, like I said, it, the business is going really well, I think, um, Guns has blessed us in a way that we couldn't have even imagined or thought two years ago when uh, when we decided that we were going to move out of the area and start over. So we're still looking forward to retiring someday. We'll see when that happens. I don't know. I think we'll be completely bored. But one of the things I love most about your story, Robin, is I know you guys went someplace that was different and new, but there's a commonality in the spirit of what you guys carry to the commonality of the Spartana. And it is that uh, pushback on, oh, you're not going to tell us, like we're, we're, we're going to come here. Uh, Montana's got that real, don't tread on me. We're going to do our own thing. Like, and I think that I, I really love getting to know you and Marty and your whole family on, because you came out of a franchise and then like walked away from that and went and crafted something entirely your own, entirely uniquely yours. And I feel like it's really inspiring. You're able to say, hey, listen, we're going to walk away from something known, some frame, something like you're saying, add dollars behind. And we're going to actually go out on our own with the things we've learned and rebrand, redo something on our own. It's really powerful, especially it's going to be a great one. 
because it's the way we want it to be. And I think it's a very Montana thing to say. Yeah, we have done a lot of grand openings that I personally haven't done any before that were just free. So that was a, a new experience for me. And yeah, we think we blew the doors off that place. And like you said, it's it's not only something that is is change, you know, but it's it's a whole new experience for them. It's a new industry. It's introducing something with a bang, you know, found some way to really be remembered. And I think, you know, when you start with your best foot forward, like you guys did, that's it creates a lasting impact. Thinking of all my friends, Indie Coffee Coalition, just thinking about the hundreds of thousands of dollars we've saved coffee shop owners just like you who are not franchisees, who are looking for deals on their fat mix and their energy drinks, why should the franchises get all the deals, right? Indie Coffee Coalition was built with the idea of saving you, the little guy, tons of cash. So if you're a coffee shop owner, you have one to three coffee shops and you're serving blended drinks or energy drinks, we can substantially save you money and keep more money in your pocket. Set up a call. I'd love to talk with you. Indie Coffee Coalition, keep money in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious actually, was there... Did you guys have a lot of apprehension doing your grand opening as like a free day versus like maybe a two dollar drink or three dollar drink? I mean, that's a big that's a big risk, right? <laughs> well, yeah, the night before you're always a little bit nervous, right? Especially when it's all all on you. But we had done that before with the prior company that we worked with and saw how it brought people in, and so we knew that. That was a place you, you kind of have to think of it as marketing dollars, really. I mean, are you going to go and do a TV ad or are you going to give away, um, you know, free drinks on the first day? And so I just, I feel like it's, it's a really powerful way. And it was, I mean, I, I don't remember the numbers now, Drew. I don't know if you still remember them, but it was incredible. And they were going so fast. Drew was there and then Aaron's son, David was was helping that day too. And my granddaughter flew in from California that worked coffee. And of course, my son was there and our, our whole team, but they worked their their butts off. I mean, it was, it was an exhausting, but exhilarating, amazing day. And the thing that's funny with, I don't know if it's all of Montana, but in Great Falls, we've seen businesses open and actually they're still open, I think, with no sign no change of the color of the building, nothing. I mean, you wouldn't even know that they're there. And I, I don't know how they operate businesses that way. We were so excited to get our sign up you know, and get our, our sign on our building and, you know, get our dancing man out there and our t-shirts and coffee and everything out there. We wanted everybody to know that we were there. So I think that's a, a really big change for at least Great Falls. That's definitely not how anybody opens a business here. And so I, it, it was a really big splash, but I don't know, Drew, you guys, how many drinks were you making in how many seconds? Do you remember? I just know it was record breaking. Yeah, we were doing more than a drink a minute and that was almost the entire day we did that. So I, and mostly amazing other than, you know, myself and Jonathan and, and his buddy, it was most of the new kids that were out there helping run stuff. So. Uh, it was so, yeah, so many drinks. I don't, I don't think we'd ever done that many drinks that fast before. Yeah, That's cool. it was an incredible, exciting day for sure. And it didn't end that day. It, you know, we had specials all week long that we did and everything went really, really well. So it was, it was exciting and, and we'll do it again when we open store number two, whenever that is, <laughs> it takes time to change through the city, but yeah, we would definitely do it again. It's exciting awesome. when we go to with Coffee Experts Elise and we go to help with the grand opening, but obviously you want it to be really successful. You know what I mean? Like if you go there, people have money into you being there to help them. And there's always that pressure, not only for the people who are owning it, but I know Drew and Dave is like, they show up early and you're like, man, I hope this thing goes. I hope people show up, people are there. And so I think it was such a testament to you guys. I saw all of your reels, you know, of just cars wrapped around the entire block and wrapped around the entire building and just all day long, just you guys out there handing out cups. It makes me so excited that you're already in two years that you're in uh, location number two. That's not, that's not common. And so just just a lot of kudos to you guys that for hustling and saying, hey, this is something that's important to us, but we're going to push into this. Right? Last question for you, Robin, and you can take as long as you want on it, but maybe some big hurdles. You know, we've talked about a lot of big successes and a lot of great things that come out of starting this new business and it being so far and it being so new, but maybe some of the hurdles you have to fight your way through. Compared to what we went through in California, opening a new store, it took years, you know, it took years to find another location. When we 
had our first location. We didn't open a second store for eight years. It, it took oh, so wow. long and so much money. And here we found a second location. We actually bought this building in October, I think, or November after we opened it in August with plans to, you know, renovate it and, and get it going. So hurdles that we had with our business in California were much bigger than what we've had here. I think Jonathan would probably say, uh, running the day-to-day -day business, that getting the supplies still, we're having issues. You no, know, but I am so sick of everybody blaming things on COVID. You know, COVID's over. Hello. It's been three years now. Get get yourself together and get people to work and get things done. I just, I don't understand it, but we still do have some issues with, you know, with supplies and things like that that are, but, you know, he, he is just a find a way, make a way kind of person. And as he has to go find it, he does. And he's found some other resources in town and some other ways to get the things he needs. And he's just done a, a fabulous job. You know, it's it's always interesting working with your family, but we've done it for a long time and it's really been, you know, something that we've always wanted was to be able to be close to our kids forever and ever. <laughs> and that's just such a blessing to us that I think we've all learned how to get along. And so I think it's the biggest hurdle, you know, if you're running a family business is is remembering to be forgiving of, of each other and remembering that it is your family and it's not like you get to walk away and not deal with that person. We have to learn to work together. And I don't think that's such a bad thing. I think that learning to work together really builds some character skills that a lot of people don't have. And so it's been a great experience. And, you know, even working with the city, I was going to say, you could, you could think that would be a hurdle. And most people here say, oh no, you have to go to the city. And we're like, are you kidding? It's just been a great experience. And to have it be so successful is the most amazing, most amazing thing. And, and we all, I think we all still love it here in Montana. You know, it's different. Um, it's way different. California, we're still, I was telling the guy that was setting us up, Mason, that we were having a thunder and lightning and hailstorm and so on, and he's sweating down in Belize. If we were in Southern California, it'd probably be a perfect 72 or something, you know. <laughs> But life isn't all about weather, you know, and going through things that are hard are, they're good and it builds your character and it builds who you are and it helps you to become more patient and more kind. And so I, I would say I'm really thankful for the experience and I'm thankful for my family and that even though we went through something that, that was difficult, it was difficult, I'm not going to lie. We stuck together. We, you know, we prayed about what we were going to do. And God led the way. And so I, I feel like we're just really blessed. Well, we've, we've been really grateful to get to work with you. I think that it's such a special thing when you get to work with people that you enjoy and people that you enjoy to be around. It's, in business, it's business, right? Like you're there to help. You've got a skill. They've got a need. You show up and you help. And sometimes there's a great friendship before, and other times it's just all transactional. But you guys have definitely become, I feel like, fast friends. I mean, not many people let Drew Moody stay at their house. Yeah, I mean, like that was a big deal. Thank you for loving on our Drew Moody and taking care of him so well while he was there. And I'm excited to maybe get to see your family a little bit this weekend as they come into town. I'll definitely be getting my eight ounce Americano black. This is my favorite. I think you guys do it great. That's how you know you've got a great coffee place. Somebody comes there and just gets black Americano and still sings your praises. So well done. Thank you so much, Robin, for joining us today on Coffee Experts Club. Always such a pleasure talking to you and your family. Hope you have a great day. We appreciate you too. Thanks so much for joining us today. For those of you who are looking to become a coffee expert yourself, we offer an incredible, thorough training online for opening your first coffee drive-thru at www.myfirstdrivethru.coffee.